guys welcome back okay so today's video should be fun interesting exciting scary all at the same time why because i am doing another palette bingo this is only my second palette bingo my first one i did with my girl lynette from london makeup artistry if you haven't checked that out i will link it above a lot of fun a lot of fun it was scary but <laughs> i had a lot of fun so me and some of my other beautiful wonderful lovely ladies here on youtube actually my two besties on youtube decided to do a palette bingo and i'm sitting here now that i know which shades the automatic shade picker number picker picked i'm like whose idea was this whose idea was this okay because y'all these shades hmm, some of them are good and some of them are like Meh. but i guess that's the fun part of doing a pal bingo you know you just have to go with what's given to you so uh the palette that we have chosen for our palette bingo is this makeup addiction sinful eyes palette i like the packaging it reminds me of sephora <laughs> But these are the colors in this palette. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous colors, beautiful color story, very interesting. Um, but I will let you guys know in just a second which numbers were chosen for us. Now, just a little bit about my girls, okay? DJ and Lele. And let me start with DJ. Um, we have actually done a collab video before. The palette was a disaster, but it was fun to do that collab. We did it with the Huda Beauty Neon Palettes. If you wanna check that out as well, I'll link that too. But I have done a collab with these two beautiful ladies before. Now DJ, my girl DJ, oh my gosh, what can I say about her and her channel? She's here on YouTube as well. If you aren't familiar with her, please check her out. I'm a link her above. But that girl has got it going on, okay? Her channel, has everything on it from tutorials to hauls to swatch parties to oh my gosh she tags she's even done like the murder mystery and makeup type videos okay she does lock videos because she has some beautiful lovely locks in her hair so she gives you all the tea on how to take care of your locks but yeah you definitely have to check her out we've been <laughs> super close friends for a while now met here on youtube and i'm so so blessed to call her my friend now the other person participating in this palette bingo video is lily from lily living life okay if you don't know lily where have you been okay because she is just a bundle of joy I love Lily. <laughs> she keeps me laughing. She is a crack up. She is like the sweetest, most down to earth, tell it like it is person that you are ever going to meet, okay? She is just so sweet, so giving. Now her channel, look, she is the queen of color. You wanna talk about colorful, bright, beautiful eye looks, gorgeous makeup, that's your girl. You guys think I have a lot of palettes? No, she has me beat way beat <laughs> on the palette collection okay she stays on top of it all she does all kind of videos as well tutorials that's her thing okay so if you want to see a beautiful colorful tutorial check her out she does haul videos hauls on hauls on hauls <laughs> declutters tags all kind of stuff swatch parties so just make sure you check her out as well. We have been friends here on YouTube for a little bit longer than me and DJ, but we have all grown so close that we are like this right now. So enough of the mushy stuff. Let's jump into this bingo, okay? Now, where is my list? Okay, so the shadows that we got, <laughs> Let me just start this out like this. Out of this palette, the shadows that we got, I'll go in order number. So three, which is this shade right here. Uh, nine, which is this shade right here. We have 11, which is this shade right here. So that's 11. We have 12, which is this shade here. And we have 14 and 15. So we got this brown and we got this black. 
So we got the blue, this shimmer here, the purple, this shimmer here, the brown, and the black. So let me swatch those right quick so you can see what they look like next to each other. Okay, so this is that blue, green, kind of duochrome shift. This is that purple. Now these are the two shades that I'm worried about because they are the shimmer type shades that are like gold and bronze. And they're kind of like that flaky type formula. So you see that they're kind of like sheer. And then lastly, we have the brown matte and then the black matte. So these are the shades that the automatic number generator picked for us a random number generator picked for us so yeah this is going to be interesting i mean i'm excited <laughs> so let me go ahead prep my lids and then we will <laughs> see what we create with these shades okay you guys so i have my lids prepped sorry if you can hear my fan i have my fan going because it's a little bit hot and the pressure of trying to figure out what to do with these shades has got me <laughs> a little nervous so um, I'm gonna start out with the brown shade which is shameless so this is the shade here I'm gonna start out with that in my crease of course I only have these two mattes to work with black and brown okay and this is my first time using this palette so I'm not even familiar with how these shadows are going to perform okay so I think I want a black base for these shimmers to try and help them pop a little bit better so since I do have a black shadow that I'm going to be using I'm going to use this shiny black pencil for my base instead of using my cut crease canvas which normally I would use my revolution cut crease canvas but I'm going to use a black pencil to create a black base before I go in with the black shadow. Ooh child he's wrinkly lids. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go to about right there. And now I'm going to take kind of like a small pointed brush just to kind of blend the edge of that black base out. And just smooth out that lid a little bit as much as I can. And I'm not worried about how messy I am on the outer portion portion because I'm going to clean that up anyway. Now going back into that brown just to kind of blend out that edge a little bit as much as I can with that black base. Now I'm going to tap into the black just a little bit, the black shadow, and I'm going to go ahead and just really deepen the outer corner. make it real smoky this side's gonna look darker because I have more light over here okay so which one do we want to start with I think I'm gonna start with this shade here what is that bougie I'm gonna use this shade here and place that on first and I'm gonna use a little bit of my fix plus spray to see if that helps it to not be so crumbly That's pretty. I just want a little bit of this though because I really want to showcase that green and purple. Okay, so I got that color down. Now I think, um, yeah, now I think I'm gonna go into this shade here and then I'm gonna do the purple on the end. This color is really pretty. It's like it has like a blue green type of shift. Hmm. 
yeah see when I picked it up it looks really blue but when I put it on now it looks green crazy now I'm just going in and blending out that first shade into that green a little bit okay so let's tackle some of this purple Ooh, that's pretty I like that okay so maybe this look isn't gonna be a disaster after all you guys <laughs> maybe not going back in with a little bit of the black just to make sure it's nice and smoky although I think it's smoky enough <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna take a wipe and clean it up because I want a clean edge and then I will do some eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some of my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. Okay guys, so I put on my eyeliner. Now I'm gonna finish up my complexion, come back, and I think I have one more shadow that I have to use, which is the other shimmer, which is this one here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end up putting that in my inner corner. So let me finish my complexion, and then we'll use that shadow and finish up this palette bingo, okay? Okay guys, so I have my complexion done. I went ahead and put on some lashes also. So let's go ahead and finish up. I am going to put a colored pencil on my lower lash line. This is one of my LA Girl pencils. Um, I will put the color on the screen. Yeah, I'll put the color on the screen. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go into that black again and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line just a little bit. Okay, and for the last shadow that I need to use, this one here, which is goat level, I believe. Goat level, I'm going to use that for a little inner corner pop. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of essence what is this, the Super Curl Mascara on my lower lashes. Okay you guys, so this is it, the final look for this palette bingo that I did with my girls DJ and Lily. Hope you had fun <laughs> figuring this out with me. You know, I actually really like these palette bingos because they really challenge you. Um, with just giving you random shadows and making you create an eye look. I definitely would not have paired all six of these shadows together, but somehow I was able to pull a look together using them all. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. I was a little concerned at first, like I always am, but it worked out. And oh my goodness, I can't believe I almost completely forgot. As far as my girl DJ goes, she has a whole boutique, you guys. Um, I'll put the link to her boutique in my description box. She has makeup, she has clothes, earrings, all kind of goodies, you know, little, uh, what do you call them? Ornaments for your locks. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but they're cute little things that go in your locks. 
So anyways, yeah, she has all kind of stuff, brushes, lipsticks, all kind of goodies for you to check out. So make sure you stop by and check out my girl DJ's boutique because she's definitely going to have something for everyone. So anyways, that was fun doing this palette bingo. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!